So today is September 1st, 2018. Uh, today we have an opportunity to do something that uh, normally because of time constraints we don't and we uh, according to the namesake of the YouTube channel we are truly slow hunting or quiet hunting uh, Betty and I here and we want to share with you what we're finding. We are finding black trumpets. Now black trumpets can be uh, as much fun and as difficult, if not more fun and more difficult than morel mushrooms. And the reason why I say that is they blend into their environment so well. But the fun side of it is morels really need a certain kind of condition to grow like these do. But these are a mycorrhizal mushroom. That means they grow in a symbiotic relationship with certain trees, beech trees, uh, certain conifers uh, and oak trees and today we found a perfect place a perfect ecosystem for these it's kind of a trifecta we have There's even these really tiny black ones right show me here. oh yes yep these ones like probably you came probably in probably can't even see that in the camera wow they are tiny right tiny here, tiny right here so we're also near a uh a yellow jacket's nest that's in the ground so we're kind of tiptoeing around here which is something you really need to do with these mushrooms anyway but it's a trifecta it's a perfect ecosystem for these we have a northern red oak uh, growing at the top of a wash and alongside a two-track road so there's a lot of relief here and I mean you know the grade changes and the water kind of flows down this hill and stays moist. And as we were walking around up there, we were finding a variety of mushrooms. We were finding uh, honey mushrooms and boletes and lactarius mushrooms, but we were also finding uh, these black trumpets. Oh, there's another group. <laughs> you found another group? Yeah. Oh, I love it. Oh, oh yeah. They seem to like the poison ivy area too. So maybe a lot <laughs> of like sun. They're I think. guarding them. They like a lot of sun and they like a lot of the. Uh, or a lot of shade, really, I guess, well, I mean, where it stays moist, right? Oh, you mean yeah. the poison ivy likes yeah. the sun. Um, there's There's a lot old... of rushels around, too. A lot like the, the regular chanterelles, the hundreds. So a lot of relief, a lot of water kind of moves through this area and kind of gets stuck in and held in like the leaf material and the moss and the old and rotting wood. And I've seen a variety here, but uh, so let me show you up close and personal on this 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 oak tree. So northern red oak, Quercus rubra. It's one. I'm in Michigan. This is one of the third most common trees here. So that's exciting if you are hunting uh, black trumpets, because the field guides will tell you they're widespread and common, just like these trees. The difference is the trumpets blend in so well that they're often very, very difficult to find. And we hunted black trumpets for years before we even started finding them. So a lot of relief. Seeing some more over there, babe. Oh, wow. Uh, along that, there's like a, a mossy little stump area there. I don't even know where to step. <laughs> I know. No. We'll, we'll take it slow. We'll take it we'll come back. Let me show you some of the, some of the, uh, uh, the leaves that I gathered in an acorn here so you can get an idea. <clears throat> Let's see here, do we got some of these leaves from a northern red oak? This is a smaller leaf. You see any acorns laying around? Um. Oh, I got some old ones. Just a perfect little area. So once again, finding black trumpets on the 1st of September, 2018, other, under a northern red oak that runs, is at the top of a ravine that runs alongside of a two-track road. Bring your glasses. Bring your magnifying glasses. <laughs> and, <laughs> and have some time. See you later.